public health supply chain gets life-saving health products from where they are made to the people who need them. These health supply chains save lives, but the environments in which they operate are evolving, and supply chains have to adapt to changes in disease patterns, new health products and new technologies and infrastructure. Health supply chains must be designed to be efficient and resilient enough to take advantage of opportunities and adapt to any changes so they are better able to get quality health products to people when and where they need them. A system design is a collaborative process to review current supply chains and optimize the way that they work. System design provides the blueprint for how the health supply chain should run, including how all of the components of the system fit together and interact to help achieve strategic, tactical and operational improvements. The system design process can help managers and policymakers answer key questions. For example, how to adjust the supply chain for introducing a new vaccine or other new health product. What are the pros and cons of removing a level of the supply chain or outsourcing a supply chain activity to the private sector? The system design process typically follows a few key steps. Data collection and modeling, decision making, implementing the new design. There are many benefits of a system design, improving efficiency and reducing costs, reducing the burden on healthcare workers, improving the availability of health supplies, and improving equity and coverage. JSI's system design analysis of the immunization supply chain in Sierra Leone showed that streamlining where facilities get their products would reduce transport costs and the burden on healthcare workers and increase efficiency. In DRC, Village Reach is working with the Ministry of Health in three zones. Instead of health workers collecting vaccines, provincial immunization authorities took on this role, leading to improvements in the availability of health products, the cost effectiveness of the supply chain, and more people receiving vaccinations. As seen in these countries, system design, when driven by data and informed by national and subnational stakeholders, has the power to improve the efficiency and resilience of health supply chains that can reliably deliver life-saving medicines and vaccines to the child, family and community who need them.